Hi, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to draw Django Fett from Star Wars. And thanks for the suggestion. Let's start with mapping, constructing what Django Fett. I love Star Wars and The Mandalorian and most of the spin off shows as well. You always pick up something. Watch the Boba Fett series, The Mandalorian series, the Obi Wan series. Enjoy them all. What's your favourite Star Wars series or, or, or show? I used to love The Empire Strikes Back, the first scene where they're, they're in the snow with the big fighters, taking down the big adats. So you can see here that I'm sort of just mapping on really loosely where he's, well not loosely, but getting the proportions of these legs compared to his body, compared to his other parts. That's that's the first step of any drawing is getting the figure. That, that's where his el elbow is, but because his hand is like that and his, yeah, his forearm is there, it's going to be quite a tricky bit because that's like foreshortening. You don't see it, or you just see more of this arm because he's got it out to the side. I look at what angles, um, you know, compare the angles, compare the sizes, really make sure you're looking at what you're drawing, especially when you're copying pictures, whether it's an object, whether it's a photo, from a photo, you want to get it looking accurate. Time for the details. I'm going to start with his helmet and I'm just had a, having a closer look here and it's on a bit more of a lean. So I'm just making those those two lines on a lean. A little bit there. Now his helmet comes back up and around there. He's got this cool piece on the side of his helmet. Like so, Django Fett, this comes up, curves around and meets, meets that bit. This is the slit for, I'm assuming, where the eyes are. Bring that around there like that. That's going to be all dark in there. And this bit comes down and around like this. Then it comes back on an angle and comes in there. And then there's this other bit that looks like that. This bit here comes around like so. Up, curve that up and over like that. Now he's got this piece that comes around there. Bring this up and over. And let's draw this, this piece here on one, two lines. There we go. Now he's got his neck. Bring his neck in on there. And then he's got his shoulder coming out here. This is his shoulder plate, full of cool armor. These Mandalorian type characters, or Django Fett. This is his armor. And then he has another little bit. I'm going to bring his shoulder. He's got shoulder pad type piece there. Let's draw his chest plate on. This is kind of tricky. He's got this little bit in here. With a square or a rectangle that comes down. In 
very detailed picture. This one, I'd say, will be a challenge. Give yourself a lot of time, practice on this one. So looking at all the details, comparing the angles of things. And getting all these shapes looking correct. So that sort of flows into there. This sort of flows into this side piece here. Which then forms the belly plate, like so. Now he has a lot of leather armour in behind here. And then his arm, I'm going to bring his arm out a little bit more. Put it a little bit close to his body. This is all leather, sort of, on his forearm. And then if you want to make that look like leather, we can bring a strap down like that. And then we can put some little seam lines, dots, on the leather. He's got some stitching across here. You can be as detailed as you like. Now, his hand, this is his fist, so one finger, two, three, four, and his hand comes out like this, and then his thumb is in there, bring his thumb up and around that, this is his forearm, shield, or where his weapon is attached to, it's down, Finish that off with some details. There's his arm. He's got his bit on his arm there. Bit comes across there. This comes down. Now he's got this belt with lots of... Just going to put a little bit of a belt on first. With some lines coming around like that and this comes out here up here and then into his arm he's got this these are all sort of like pockets by the looks of that leathered pockets so they come up and around one here's straight on then they come back the other way another one here and then draw a line along the bottom they're like all like little separate containers and he's got like a buckle through here now he's got these it's like a metal metal piece that comes through here like this to protect these jewels old family jewels okay and then we've got a strap that comes down through here like a belt and then on his leg he's got this sort of piece obviously where his weapon goes so we'll put that in there and he's got some bits that come over over his belt like that. Some little holes in there for his belt. Pull that up. Do the same on this other side. Remember you can zoom in if you need to. And you see this one a bit more front on. And this has got some little stitching, so I'm going to put some stitching through there for, for this one. Some holes. Again, he's got the strap. That. He's got a metal plate around here. So you can see how much detail goes into these characters. It's just amazing. And there's, this is straps around his leg to keep that on then he's got like a knee metal knee guard that then straps around the back of his leg this is sort of fabric let's put his we'll say gun but you guys can correct me his weapon
a bit like an old Star Wars, like a bit of a cowboy looking dude, isn't he? Bounty hunter. And there's his weapon. And that's the top of his leg there. Which joins into his ammo belt or something. He's got this, looks like a Star Wars future grenade type thing here. Coming off here. Now let's spring his other leg in, so it's fabric, and then he's got this metal plate. So the same as that metal plate. Comes in and around, and then he's got his strap that comes around to hold that. Pants. That comes in behind there. Now he's got his knee. Knee guard with strapping around the back of his leg. All right, let's do his shin guards. Ready, he's got a shin guard that comes down like this. Yep, there's one shin guard. And that's all fabric. And then he's got like a boot guard. Front of his boot, you see mostly front on. And then he's got his fabric coming off there. On the side of here, we've got his pants. Got his shin guard coming down here. This part, and you only see a fraction of that little bit, more of his pants. Now let's draw his shoe, top of his foot guard, now his boot. Let's bring his boot around, it's the front of his boot, and he's got his big heel. There's his boot. You can see how much detail is on there. Let's have a look at his other arm. You just gotta work out which parts are metal, which parts are leather, which parts are fabric, which parts are armor. So that looks like it wraps around his whole arm, like a big, big piece of metal there he's got some metal bits through here now he's got his weapon this is going to be tricky because he's sort of like got that's the base of the gun and he's got fingers coming over like one one finger two three and then the other fingers sort of there that's part of the gun and it comes up. Sort of comes straight up this one. Pretty cool weapon. And then this will be his thumb through there. His hand. Well, that's his thumb. Bring the rest of his weapon up there like that. His hand goes inside that. And then this sort of looks like it's got some pipes coming off there. Got a couple of little lines across here, so details. Lots and lots of details on this Django Fett character. Just going to put a little bit of a thicker outline, point out with this guy.